All right, Coach, it's the NFL on EA Sports as you take a look there at Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, PA. Just a short time ago, these Philly fans in full roar as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. Pyrotechnics ablaze. They're set to go as their Eagles will match up. They'll bring it back to just about the 25, call it the 24-yard line with the Dallas Cowboys. They go play action here on first down. And complete to Zach Ertz. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. He got 29 yards that time. There are so many things to watch for when you play defense. And reading your keys, you always hear about that, and having your eyes in the right place. Sometimes your eyes can fool you. How about that play action there? And it sprang the big guy, didn't it? Able to dump it over the top to him. Now a play fake here on first down. He's going to let this one go deep. And that is caught. It's Aguilar for the Eagle touchdown. Nelson Aguilar, 48 yards. And the Eagles have taken the early lead. And partner, they found a gap there on the post pattern, and it was in the middle third of the field. And that's really difficult to do because ordinarily the safeties are back there to prevent that happening. But they found the opening and exploited it. Elliott Good with a PAT, and it's now a 7 0 game. Elliott now to kick this one away. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. Dallas getting the ball again here on offense, and the Cowboys haven't been able to build a ton of momentum if you look at their 2018 season as a whole, Charles. In fact, the first seven weeks before the bye earlier in the year, it was kind of like flipping a coin. It was loss, win, loss, win, loss, win. So I don't know what you make of this team. You would actually expect that coin to come up heads two times in a row or tails two times in a row, wouldn't you? I think they will see the second half belong to Ezekiel Elliott because the move to get Amari Cooper out wide should open things up a little bit more. And he's such an impact player. And that's how they play best. Him leading, running the football, and establishing the line of scrimmage. And also working in their favor, there's absolutely no one running away with the NFC East. Yeah, Redskins and Eagles, they're in the mix, obviously, at the top. But you're right, just above 500. Prescott now on second down. He's going to walk one deep left side here. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Amari Cooper, the intended target. And it'll bring up third down. But that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, you'll open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up, have them back on their heels. They come up to the line now facing a third and ten after the incompletion. Prescott from the gun. Drops it underneath to Elliott. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. They give him 14 yards that time and a fresh set of downs. Now, Charles, what's the mindset here offensively? You gave up the touchdown pretty quickly. Would it have changed if you had gotten a stop and it would be 0-0 right now or no? I wouldn't think so. I think in most cases, just down a touchdown, you know, I mean, we're just getting started here. It should be a long way to go. You think to yourself, stick with the game plan, all the things you worked on in practice. But you have some teams that when they get down, their natural tendency is to aggressively strike back. And let's see if they want to get outside of the game plan we expect and try and be aggressive on their first series. On second down, Elliott. And give him about five as he gets this up to the 48-yard line. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, 
I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half, and some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. On third and one, here's Prescott. Oh, a scrap for the football, and he's going to come down with it. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Nice play call, a little bit of play action right there. If you can get those linebackers to freeze for just a split second, that's usually all the room you need in order to get it to your tight end. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 27. To throw is Prescott. He's got a man, it's his fullback. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. Looking to throw, Prescott. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. And they just keep marching right along, first down on a pickup of eight there. Brandon, unless my eyes deceive me, I think they found a matchup that they're trying to exploit here, don't you? I mean, yeah. that's the second time they've gone to him here on this drive. Yeah, opening drive. It's a tone setter, right? I think they're going to be looking his way a lot. Yeah, and I think that the way things are going right now, they like him as a featured receiver. Let's see what kind of adjustments the defense is going to make to try and take that away. And he's heating up at the line of scrimmage. Might have gotten a yard down to the 16. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. And what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. A second down throw for Prescott. A dump off to Elliott. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. It'll be a pickup of just two, and that's going to lead to a third down. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. Now this drive, they're two for two on third down conversions, but they need seven yards here. From the shotgun, it's Prescott, and that is incomplete. I think that was a good job there defensively. They did allow them to drive all the way downfield, but once they got their backs to the goal line, they really turned up the pressure. Yeah, they let them get all the way down here. Now the field shrinks. They've struggled to convert, and that last incompletion brings up fourth. And forthcoming, a field goal try for the Cowboys. And his kick is indeed good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's seven to three. A dozen plays on that drive that ends with the field goal. Let's go ahead and break out some of the old chestnuts here, right, partner? Keep the ball in front, rally to it, and make the tackle, right? No big plays given up, no balls over your head. Bend, don't break. Hold on, hold on. Chestnuts? Huh, you like Come that on. one? What does that mean, break out the, just because you break, you break chestnuts? I, I'm not sure about that, but I'm just going with why they said that. I have no idea. The lead cut to just four as they kick it away and turn things over to their D. This is taken at the three. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. Philly's offense getting the ball again here in just a second. But if you look at the NFC picture as a whole, a lot of talk, understandably so, about the Rams and the Saints, the Panthers even. But what kind of chance do you give the Eagles of getting back to the Super Bowl? I give them a good chance because Carson Wentz continues to get better coming back from the knee injury. They made the deal to get Golden Tate, which gives them another weapon at receiver, and that's starting to get better for them. Zach Ertz has been tremendous at tight end. They need to get healthier in the offensive line, get that back intact, 
And that defense can be very, very good, especially Fletcher Cox wrecking things from his defensive tackle position. The stop for no gain brings up second and 10 from the 20. Now it's Sproles. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. It'll wind up being a loss of two. And that's going to lead to a third and 12. Shotgun now for Wentz. The ball popped in the air and intercepted. Cheetah Bay Awuzie with a pick. And this one will be returned to right around the 38-yard line. And they told us repeatedly earlier in the week in our meetings, we need some plays from our defense here on the road early. They got one. And don't think they were above all week long pointing out to their defense that the other defense is rated higher than them. You gonna let that happen, guys? Is that how we're going to play? And they responded to the challenge. Nice job by that defensive front there to hold him to a short gain on first down. Well played, I must say. Yeah, only getting one yard. There was no room to run. Second down, Prescott. Over the middle, the connection to Hearns. And they move this all the way down to the nine. A really good pickup of 28 yards. They'll try to run it in, going option right. And maybe the wrong read there as he's going to go down immediately. That's going to go as a loss of four, and it'll be second down. I don't think there's any doubt that if it's me, I'd be really cautious about continuing to call this play because you got to know, defenders, if they get a free shot at the QB, they want to take it, and they want to take it big. And they got it there on the option play for a loss. They'll get it up the middle. Showed off the toughness, but still corralled shy of the five at the six. He picks up seven yards there, but they're still faced with a difficult third and goal here. Defensively, I think they can smell a stop ball right around the five here, brings up third. And I think what they've done is they put doubt in the minds of the offensive guys. What do we do? Because now you don't have a go-to play. Either side they pick, throwing it, running it, it won't be easy. Here's Prescott. Fourth down now looming after Philly's defense stands tall in coverage. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps to have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. And this one is right through. And they'll get it back within a point at 7-6. to six. So two first quarter field goal attempts for him, and he's converted on both. I like the positive right there. Two for two, got the points on the board. The negative side is they didn't score touchdowns. And, of course, going forward in this game, that's going to be the aim, and hopefully they'll be kicking extra points instead. So we're back to a one-point game now as the kickoff comes. This is taken at the three. Then he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards, up to the 27-yard line. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. A tale of two extremes already in this game. A touchdown pass on their opening drive, followed by an interception last time out. Now, it sounds like things balance out, right? What's that, that mythological thing that we do? If you have a candy bar, have a diet soda with it, it balances it out. And we know that's not really true, right? Because the interception, that sting lingers a little bit longer. Got to come out now and put together some nice plays. 
Try to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And they're able to get this one across the 35. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. They'll run it with Sproles. And that play is blown up, losing yardage back at the 35. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. Wentz to throw on second down. It's brought in left side by Tate. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. I think defensively you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch. Now you put the offense in a position where every series, they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. And now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. And you just know when that play call came in, their eyes lit up because anytime you get a chance to take a big shot downfield, that's a lot of fun, and they missed an opportunity. Now on fourth down, it's Cameron Johnston on to punt it away. Back deep is Tavon Austin. And this one hits at the three and then bounds into the end zone for a touchback. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point kicker. Exactly. <laughs> he put it through the post. That's going to help him in contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that helped him in contract time. You, you could have kicked that one through. Eagle pressure too much this time. Down he goes. Michael Bannon, he's the one that got to him. He takes him down for a loss of nine. Well, they were coming out of the 4-3 defensively. Pressure coming off that right side from the DM. And that's the blind side of most quarterbacks. If you're right-handed, that's the side you don't see quite as well. And that's why you rely on your left tackle, maybe your highest paid offensive lineman, to take care of you. In this situation, that didn't happen. And yeah, nothing doing here is this time the run maybe gets him back to the line of scrimmage, but that's it. No gain on the play this time, and it'll be a third and long situation coming up. The Cowboys on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This will be third and 19. Sitting alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, as it is Cowboy football to begin quarter number two. They do, however, have a tough third and long coming up. Out of the gun, here's Prescott. And he'll get it up to the 12-yard line here. It'll be a pickup of only a yard, and that's going to make it fourth down. So on fourth down, here's Chris Jones to punt it away. Back deep is Darren Sproles. And when it's said and done, it's a 58-yard punt. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. They've got the lead. Last time had to punt it, though. What's the key to this drive? I think it's leverage. Ah, the leverage. big guys up front. You know the motivational speech on the sideline is, guys, give us an opportunity. Protect the passer, create space for our runners, and let's go ahead and get these guys. Low man wins. Let's go do it on this drive. <laughs> we'll watch that leverage on this drive. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. 
early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big-bodied guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. On second down, here's Wentz. And this is Ertz with it, right side. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. They really love to get him into one-on-one -on -one opportunities, and this is one way, work him out of the slot and create a mismatch. Who's going to cover him? Corner, safety, linebacker? He's got a way to beat all of those positions. Wentz to throw on third and one. Looking for Jeffrey, and it's intercepted. Picked off, Byron Jones. And he'll return this ball across midfield to the 47-yard line. And that's a great example of ball skills right there, partner. You and I do a lot of games, and I can't tell you how many guys look to run with the football before they've intercepted it. So that's a nice job of focusing on the task at hand and coming away with the interception. They're throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. Well, too much oomph, too much mustard there on that pass. Yeah, really turned it loose, didn't they? Really cut loose with that one. Sharp, strong. Didn't lead to a completion, though. Made it very difficult. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. The give is to Elliott. And they go backwards here. Losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. It's a loss of two. Now third down. Partner, you mind if I take off this headset and put on a coaching headset? You want to get this running game going? I want to get this running game going. I'm going down there and saying, gentlemen, we have got to run the football. We've got to get it going right now. Yeah, to this point in the second quarter, it has been a struggle. On third down, it's Prescott. They'll set up the screen to Elliott. Good contain. No gain on the screen, and it'll bring up fourth down. So unable to get any yardage at all off of the screen there on third down. And ordinarily on third down, that's when you want to bring pressure. You get all your guys who want to get after the quarterback. But how about the patience they showed? Read the play, snuffed it out, and made a nice stop. The Eagles send out their punter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Now Philadelphia ready to get going on offense again. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking. But the guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher. A really nice run. Here we go, here we go. They'll run it now out of the gun. And they'll bring him down here up at about the 22-yard line. Two yards on the pick up there, but it's enough to give him a new set of downs. Exactly what they needed right there because they needed to use the ground game to take some pressure off because the quarterback's been struggling a little bit. On first down, Wentz, and he'll get to the 29 yard line brought down there. Seven yards to pick up on the pitch and catch. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Now Wentz on the bootleg. He's going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. A gain of four that time as the drive continues. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. 
Here's Sproles. And he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Four down, four down. There we go, back back. Now Wentz throwing on second down. And he finds his tight end. It's Ertz. That catch good for five. It's third down. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. The Eagles on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This is third and seven. Working from the gun, Wentz. He's going to loft one deep left side here. That he can't quite intercept it. Zone coverage, free safety was there. Couldn't come up with it, and now it's fourth down. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? Zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. Oh, and what a play on special teams here. This is going to be down inside the five, all the way down at the two-yard line. And now Dallas gets sent to them. They're going to have to go at least 50, 60 yards here if they want to ensure that they don't have to punt the ball like they did last time. Yeah, so what you're saying is we're not playing to just get out of the shadow of your own goal line, right? You're playing to make sure the punter doesn't see the field again. So it's not picking up a couple of first downs. You want to pick up five or six first downs and make sure you move the ball into their territory. They'll start the drive with Elliott. It was very fortunate there to get out of his end zone. He maybe got back to the two-yard line. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Really shouldn't be a surprise. It's going to be hard to move people in this situation. You know the pressure defensively, because I remember playing in these spots, and my coaches always say, don't be afraid to try and create a safety, too. They're going to bring pressure. Tenth carry now for Elliott. And a short gain here as he gets it up only to about the six. The tackle was made by Michael Bennett. Well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far, and after that last run, not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going, and really the offensive line not helping him much. The Cowboys on third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. This is third and seven. Throw it. Prescott. And the third down pass falls incomplete. I know at times people think we use it too often, but you've got to be able to throw guys open. And when you read zone, you've got to stick it in there before your receiver gets to the next guy in the zone. Otherwise, you bring him into the play. And that's precisely what allowed that defense to disrupt the pass. Out now comes the Cowboys punter. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. A big kick there. We'll call it 56 yards on the punt. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. They're out in front. Last time they had to punt it away. We'll see if they can add to their lead. They don't want to go out and, and punt it away again. This team now wants to get a cushion, put people away. Here we go. Here we go. They'll begin the drive with Sproles. And he'll get this up to about the 38-yard line. Sean Lee, the pro bowler, there for the tackle. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. From the gun, it's Wins. Caught by the tight end, Ertz. That catch good for five. It's third down. I think it's okay there. They didn't get a whole lot on that play, but it's nice to have a safety valve that's built like this guy. Big target, guy you can spot pretty easily. Put it on him when your other targets aren't open. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. Wentz now to throw. And he connects. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 
An eagle first down wins to Ertz. That was a route run, not just with the quarterback saw him and was able to make the sure catch and put the down marker back to one. Throwing on first is Wentz. He goes full extension, and he's got it. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. When you're a player of his stature, you don't just circle the games on your team's calendar. You circle, circle the Pro Bowl? <laughs> without a doubt. That's a game that you just figure you're going to be in each and every year. That's because of catches like that. That's why he goes. Wentz now 11 to 15 through the air. Here's first and 10. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Well, that one was over before it could get rolling. How about the D just knifing into the backfield and shutting that one down? Hang in there now. Hang in there now. Wentz. Looking left side and he's got a man. It's Tate and he's able to get it down to the 25 yard line. And they'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed and they catch a lot of footballs as we just saw there. The Eagles on third down. Just one for five to this point. This is third and four. Now wins. And Tate's got it. A gain of seven, and they pick up the first. Nice catch right there. Brings to mind the sentence. When in doubt, find your veterans. He used to laugh back in the day when they would call guys like him crafty veterans. You, know, you get up in your 30s, you're still playing receiver, but you're around that long at that position, you're doing something right. Just remember this. When he was young, he thought the crafty veteran was simply a guy who couldn't run anymore. Now he understands a little bit better. From the red zone now, Wentz. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. And before the second down play, we'll get a whistle, a signal, and a timeout. As the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Now Wentz again. No, oh, he almost had it. Already with one interception, just missing his second there. I know that interception was dropped, and it would have been their third of the game, and I will guarantee you, in the huddle, on the bench, all the defensive guys have been talking about is, we've got this guy right where we now, want him. Right. Who's going to get the next one? It almost becomes a challenge, and they missed a golden opportunity. Right. Wentz going to try and throw on third. And he is caught at the seven-yard line. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one. So another third down conversion, and now they've got a first and goal. Wins to throw again. And incomplete, he dropped it in the end zone. Anytime a defense can sit back in a zone like that, it tends to create a lot of congestion in the middle of the field. Makes it very hard to slot one in. Looked like I-4 at rush hour in your hometown of Orlando, Florida. An absolute mess. Line of scrimmage, again the four-yard line. Second and goal. Go, go. 
Again, they'll throw with Wentz. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. Nelson Aguilar, the intended receiver, and it's third down. All right, Captain, it's batting down the hatches time defensively. Dodged two pass attempts to the end zone. Now what do you think they're going to try and dial up on third and goal? Well, knowing them and knowing what we've just seen, I think they're throwing it again, don't you? I think you have to. I think in this situation, you've kind of run out of your running plays. Fire another one into the end zone. Wentz now on third and goal. This is taken in by Jeffrey. He's got it. Touchdown, Eagles. Carson Wentz with two first-half touchdown passes. And the Eagles add on to their lead. And that lead is now seven with a chance to go to eight or more if they want to get <laughs> crazy here, which we don't expect. But I just know the way the game's being played, the analytics, there's going to be a lot more going for two in a lot of situations, isn't there? Yeah, there's going to be. And I think their focus here, they don't want to give up anything going into the lockers on the other end. Just a little bit of time left on the clock. Yeah, they don't want to do anything to erase the good feeling they have right now by getting this late score in the half. Elliott now to kick this one away. Set to return now. Here's Deontay Thompson. Gets around him. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And right now these guys, they're shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting because three straight drives have ended with him punting the football away. Yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit, asking a lot of questions. What are you seeing? What are you getting? Maybe trying to narrow down your playbook a little bit and maybe get simpler rather than more complex in order to try and fashion together a drive. They start on the ground with Elliott. Not much room here as he only gets it to about the 30. Now, before the second down play, we'll get whistles and a timeout as they'll stop it with 27 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. Give to Elliott. And room to run as he's up past the 35-yard line. And prior to this third and two play, we're going to get a timeout call. As the stoppage will come with 23 seconds to go till halftime. The Cowboys on third down, lacking much success, just two for seven to this point. Here it's third and two. Prescott from the gun. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in this first half of action. down Prescott to the left side and complete for Amari Cooper and he'll be brought down at the 45 yard line 
Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Final play of the half, Prescott. And a little floater there, but it'll wind up incomplete, falling to the ground. So we've come to halftime here in Philly with the Eagles on top as we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, here's Thompson on the return. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. Out come the Cowboys now as he'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. They're down here, but very much in this game. What, what's the tonality of a coach's talk when a game is within striking distance like this at intermission? Typically, what they're doing is emphasizing the things that went well in the first half and wanting more of that. Sure, you've got to go over some of the errors and clean up some things because there's a reason you're down. But overall, I think they want to stay positive, stay up with this team. We're just starting the second half, and we've got the football. Let's go ahead and punch it in, and then we'll take it from there. See how that recipe works. You know, despite the scoreline, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road and just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made, and that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. It's a loss of four. Now third down. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. To throw is Prescott. He's going to find his man. That's Tavon Austin. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. An excellent pickup of 34 yards. There will always be a place for methodically marching the ball downfield. But when you can pick it up in big chunks and strike like that, have explosive plays, that's often the difference in winning and losing. Those types of plays that can knock a defense off balance, that'll drive a team towards a victory. A first down carry by Elliott. And it's been like this all night long. Nowhere to run as they stop him behind the line. Call it a loss of two on the play. And it'll be second and 12. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. Here's Prescott. Yeah, it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. The completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. The Cowboys on third down, not quite 50%, four for nine. This will be third and six. Out of the gun, here's Prescott. And this is going to be incomplete. Before the game, they were running the route tree about as efficiently and effectively as we could have possibly imagined, but sometimes the passes just go awry. Yeah, let's face it. When you're running the route tree in pregame, you don't have defenders breathing down your neck. You don't have defensive backs making plays on the football. Hard to replicate the intensity of the game in pregame. And he put enough leg into it, but it's well off to the right and no good. So here are the Eagles now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. They have the lead here. Well, we talk a lot about pregame speeches. What are halftime speeches like? For the most part, not nearly as emotional. They're a lot more clinical. Every now and then, though, they'll get after you if they think they need to light a fire. But in this case, let's go into the virtual locker room because here's what I think happened. They got in there and they said, listen, let's take control right away. Yeah, Defense, we got the lead. Yeah. We got the, we got the, got the lead. Defense, don't give up any points. Turn the ball back over to the offense and let them go down and score and give us more of a cushion in the game. Check so far. Defense shut them down. Let's see if the offense gets done. Go. 
Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. And he'll lose yardage here back at the 47. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Part of the thinking when you bring in extra tight ends, you're hoping that each of your guys gets those one-on-one -on -one blocks and creates a crease for your runner. You know what the converse is, though? You've got to win those one-on-one -on -one blocks, and when you don't, that's the result you end up with. Wentz to throw on second down. And his throw's going to be incomplete. He was trying to get it to Zach Ertz that time. And it's third down. Well, the numbers have been good in the passing game and certainly a big reason why they have the lead. But now here, third quarter, maybe go to the run game a little more? Yeah, perhaps. I mean, after that incompletion, a little credit to the defense for shutting them down on that play. Maybe you try and run the football a little bit more in this spot. But they have to feel good about how they've been throwing it overall. Now Wentz on third down. And that is incomplete. Jeff Heath, the strong safety, able to get in there on the coverage. Certainly looked like they were getting ready to convert there on third down, but what an effort to get his hand on that one, knock it away, and brings up a fourth down decision. The Eagles send out their punter now as he's on here to punt it away. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. The offense for the Cowboys now working their way back onto the field. The last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, this time? Closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails... Less of a field goal attempt for him. A throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. A partner with that incompletion, what do you say that we look around the league and give some defensive players some love? You okay with that? Let's do it. Let's rattle off a few guys. Von Miller, every year we talk about him, we should do it again. He's, again, one of the top sack leaders in the NFL. One name you don't talk about but should is Daniel Hunter with the Minnesota Vikings, really coming into his own as a pass rusher. Aaron Donald, I think he's worth every nickel the LA Rams have spent. Strong favorites in the NFC West. J.J. Watt is back. And that's not a pun either because he's back from back surgery, okay? He is playing awfully well, still continuing to get to the quarterback, and is also J.J. Swat knocking passes out of the air. But how about a special category? How about teammates and or brothers? Ed Bradley Chubb to Von Miller, the rookie out of North Carolina State. Add T.J. Watt with Pittsburgh to J.J. Watt. And maybe it could be a combo trophy for them because all of them are playing awfully well. I like that. One name we didn't hear, Khalil Mack. Unfortunately, with the ankle injury, he's kind of fallen off a little bit. Yeah, but I'm telling you, at the end of the year, we'll look back and realize the impact he made on Chicago. May not win him the overall award, but maybe for Chicago, he would still be their MVP. Prescott now. Five straight completions here in this second half. First and ten. Another carry tonight for the workhorse Elliott. Some extra space following the display of power down just inside the 45. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. Second down, Prescott. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. A handoff left to Elliott. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. But they're getting ready to go to work now in prime real estate after that last run. Found his spot and picked up nice yardage, didn't he? And now he's got him knocking on the door of the red zone.
staying on the ground. This time it's Smith. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Second down, here's Smith. And he goes backwards here, losing yardage back to the 16. He lost two there, and it's third down. So the myth has been shattered. Every cornerback in the league is not just a cover corner. Some of them will stick their nose in there and make plays exactly as we just saw there. A big loss suffered by the offense after that nice tackle. They missed a field goal on their last drive. Here they need something to even get into field goal range on third down. Looking to throw. Prescott. Fourth down now looming after Philly's defense stands tall in coverage. So it looked like maybe his third or his fourth read on his progression. Just trying to find his outlet man that time. Ends up leading him just a bit too much. And forthcoming, a field goal try for the Cowboys. From the right hash, this from 33. And his kick is good. And the drive will wind up yielding three. So it's a third field goal for him now. He's accounted for all nine points. I look down to the sideline, though. You can just tell they weren't too happy for three. They wanted six. So they have to have six. Look, he's keeping them afloat, but they really need to do exactly what you talked about. They need to get into the end zone and score some touchdowns. Otherwise, he's going to have to kick a lot more field goals than just the three he's already put through the post. A five-point game now as here comes the kickoff. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Eagles coming out as they get ready. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. Here's a handoff to Sproles to start the drive. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. Now, they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. Well, the first play of the drive lost four. Now they'll look to move it forward here on second and 14. And once again, they go with Sproles. Slipped one tackle, but no more as he's knocked to the deck behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of two, now third down. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. There we go, back Play action to Sproles, wins. He's gonna go for a big, and got his man complete! And he's got the first down yardage before being taken down at midfield. Give him 30 yards there. But we're used to seeing the guy that you consider the number one receiver double covered. But how about this guy? He's double covered and finds a way to make the play for a first down. That's how you increase your Madden rating, right? No doubt about that at all. And you know something? I think we'll hear about that from him soon. From midfield, here's Wentz. He finds Aguilar over the middle. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 12 more yards there and another first down. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. Sproles. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets them to second and four. Let's talk a little football 101 here because one of the keys to advancing the ball downfield, success on first down. Huge difference, as we know, between second and four and second and eight and nine. We got four. We got four. Here we go, here we go. 20. 
Snap coming at one. Now wins. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. The beauty of being able to play a zone defense when you can sit back and see the ball coming out of the quarterback's hands, guess what? Creates a lot of confusion. Kind of a muddle in the middle of the field where you can go make a play on the football. The Eagles on third down. They've hit on half of them. Five for ten. This is third and four. Throwing now is Wentz. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. Well, with that catch, he goes over 100 yards receiving on the night. Well, from an offense's perspective, that sure was pretty because the corner route is extremely difficult to defend from my perspective. What we just saw there, is that sort of the evolution of the tight end position? Yeah, I think it is because more and more... Tight ends are being treated like wide receivers. These are some agile players who can make a play in any spot on the field. A gain of three, second down. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. And welcome back. We are in the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia. It's the Eagles in possession of the football and leading this one as we get ready to start the final quarter. Now Wentz throwing on second down. Screen pass to Sproles. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. A good job defensively to hold that to four yards, and now it's third down. So many things have to come together just right for a screen pass to break for big yardage. The blocking, the timing of the pass to the runner, everything has to fit together just right. But on that play, the defense was able to disrupt things and hold it to a short game. So two of two on third down conversions on this drive, and now they face a third and three here. To throw is Wentz. Oh, incomplete. Nearly the pick they needed. They would have loved one there, but at least it does get them to fourth down. Didn't have a receiver open downfield, and as it turned out, couldn't even find his outlet, man, because of the coverage. It's way too tight. Unable to find anyone open. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. And a kick by Elliott is good. And that'll push the lead up to eight. But from a defensive perspective, though, I think maybe they're saying, hey, we did what we needed to do, kept this a one-score game. Yeah, without a doubt, because they were able to bleed some time off the clock, right? Put themselves in a good position, but it's not out of reach yet, okay? Being able to hold them to a field goal means that they do have a chance to come back and win this game. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. Now the Cowboys offense heads back onto the field. And a methodical drive last time, but they couldn't get that knockout blow. They had to settle for three. But you got to like what they've been doing along the way, right? It's almost like the body blows, the setup punch. As you said, they didn't get the knockout blow here, but that doesn't mean it can't come later in the game on another possession. And the defense on the other side, maybe a little gas, right? yeah, a little tired. And if nothing else, they just feel relieved getting upfield and giving up three. They don't exactly feel like they've handled the offense. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. They may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. First play of the drive in their hip pocket. Of course, the focus here has to be the touchdown of the two-point conversion. Field goals aren't going to help you. Yeah, but how about that first play of the drive? Just to get them started, nice gain, got some positive momentum going. They're on their way, and they don't have to rush. A first down throw for Prescott. The attempt on the dive, and he has it. What a catch. A good pick up there, a 22. Not only have they completed a couple on this drive, but they peeled off some pretty good chunks of yardage, too. Absolutely. Great start. Two nice plays in the pass game. Now can they continue to feed off that? Back-to-back -back good plays. Have them on the move on first down. Oh, 
Prescott looks to throw on first. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Jeff Swain, the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. Let's face it, perfection is something we all chase, whether it's playing this game or whatever we do. Hard to attain, but that's what they were searching for as that pass goes incomplete. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. A second down throw for Prescott. And this is caught. I think he got that with one hand. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. A good gain of 14 there, and it moves the chains. Prescott on first down. And running with power here. He hits Beasley right side. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Ah, that's tough to play zone defense when they can just curl up right there in front of you. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we talk about finding the soft spot defensively. How do you make sure they don't find the soft spot like they did there? Tough to do because what they normally will do is run routes that'll pull you out of that spot that they want to get into. That's what we call not taking the cheese, right? Don't go for the mousetrap. But it's hard to do because when you see a guy cutting that in that direction, you tend to go towards him. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. It's a gain of four there, and it gives him a new set of downs. Not your normal call in short yardage, but the toss works very well there. Big people out in front being physical, and they pick up a first down. They keep on the ground with Elliott. And he'll get about four there as he takes it from the 10 down to the six. Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. Well, he didn't make headway on that one, but he's had plenty of carries all night long. I just wonder if maybe he's a little bit tired from toting the rock that much. So it's third and six, and this will be the eighth play of the drive. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. And Beasley's got it. Touchdown, Cowboys. Cole Beasley from six yards away. And now the Cowboys are within a two-point conversion of tying up the game. And that touchdown ends a streak, for lack of a better word, of three field goals that they put on the board previously. They finally cracked the code. Yeah, they've been down there. They've been in enemy territory, as you said. They just haven't been able to punch it in until that point. And that's off the mark, incomplete. And a failure to convert and tie the game. Now the pressure shifts back to the defense. But I think it was the right play. I think it was the right call to try and tie the game there. Kick an extra point, you're still down one. What's the sense? I, I like what they did. So the lead shaved to two now as the kickoff is away. This is fielded at the goal line. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. They'll start out on the ground with Sproles. And not a whole lot doing there as he'll get it up to about the 28-yard line. Demarcus Lawrence in on the tackle. All right, that's a decent game there, but it hasn't been his best game overall. So I wonder what the mindset is of his team. Do they want him to handle the football and try and close this game out? 
or they're going to make an alternative plan and maybe go in a different direction. Uh, I think they need him, and this is his time to shine. Again, they'll run it. Again, it scrolls. And this will go for five up to the 33. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. Third down, Adams. A great effort there to shed the contact, and it helps him pick up the first. And just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. Brandon, they're still in the lead, but momentum's certainly been going the opposite direction. So to me, that's a really important pickup there on third down. Try and regain some confidence, and you're right. They need to stem the tide a little bit. That certainly helped. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Wentz now on first down, and his throw is incomplete. Let's face it, you can run the route tree as many times as you want, get in sync, practice it, do all those things, but once you get to game speed, it doesn't always time up quite that well. That one goes incomplete. Line of scrimmage, again the 37 as they line up second and 10. Wentz will try again on second down. A dump off to Sproles. And he is going to lose yardage here. So he loses three yards there. Now third down. Well, they try to swing it out left into the flat. Complete, but really nice open field tackling. And they played that one like a great boxer. They were on their toes on that one. They weren't back on their heels reacting to the play. No, they saw it, came right for it, and made a nice tackle for lost yardage. On third and long, it's Wentz. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Oh, that's got to frustrate him a little bit because they nearly got to him there, and it would have been the first sack of the game instead. They're able to influence the release, and they did force the incomplete pass. The Eagles send out their punter now. He's been terrific so far. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. And this one hits at the one, continues on into the end zone for a touchback. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. So Prescott to the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at the 20. Prescott from the gun. And he's got his man on the out route. That throw good for four. It's second down. And partner, I think that's a great example that not all tight ends are created equal. Because everything was right. Got the completion. But he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. They'll come up second and six now from the 24. Prescott now on second down. Over the middle, Cooper with it. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. That catch good for five. It's third down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. They'll try and run for it with Elliott. And he's going to have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30-yard line. He needed a yard. That's what he got. And it's going to earn him a new set of downs. I was used to joke with my teammates who carried the ball a lot. When we got in these situations and they were carrying us home, I used to tell them, boy, you guys just look like Paul Bunyan, just growing stronger, bigger, tougher. <laughs> and all night long, he's carried this team. He has indeed. Everything magnified right now. A huge third down conversion. On first and 10, Prescott. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out punishment, but here, he's one that has to absorb the contact, and as a result, unable to hold on to the football. 
Under four to go now as they come up on second down. On second down, Prescott again. And Beasley with it over the middle. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. And they'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. Here we go, third and one. Gut check time on both sides. Now back to the ground with Elliott. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. I know when I was a kid, I always got real excited when I saw those lateral type runs. But the best backs that made it happen, they put a foot in the ground and just go. That didn't happen there. That play got swallowed up. Out well, now comes the Cowboys punter as he's on to punt for the fourth time tonight. And that one hits a little too close to the goal line, and it continues into the end zone for a touchback. And out now come the Eagles. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trite expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has it. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And the offense will cover this one up, but they'll be pushed back inside their own 10. And a little bit of good fortune there. He wasn't able to get it back, but he did have a teammate on the spot able to retain possession for them. The first down play, to be frank, nothing short of awful. And now they have to deal with second and very long. Now this one from about two counties over after the sack. They come up on a second and very long. Four down, four down. Go. And they'll run it here. And he's going to take this up past the 10 to about the 11. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. Now this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. On third down, that's Adams. And whistles, and we're going to have another stoppage of play as they call the timeout on defense with 1.53 left. The Eagles send out their punter now. Standing about a yard deep in his own end zone. And he gets this away, and look at this. This is a good one. Now Austin. Whoosh! A very nice job on the run back there. He'll get 23 yards, all told. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. Well, you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline, puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. Incomplete. Work with me, partner. Take a deep breath, because that's what they're doing down the field now. That incompletion allowed them to exhale a little bit. Get in the huddle, 
kind of scan the crowd, see if any celebrities are here, relax a little bit as they start this big drive. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. He'll look to throw. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. A good pick up there, a 22. He's back to throw. To the sideline, wow, what a catch. Doesn't get a lot out of it, but he is able to keep the feet in bounds. Give him a couple on the catch at second and eight. It didn't check off every box, but the most important one, got the clock stopped, getting out of bounds. It may be a little short of the first down, but I thought that was the key. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. A give to Elliott, let him left. Looking for a crease, can't find one. Stopped at the line of scrimmage. And now the Eagles gonna signal for a timeout as they'll talk it over here before what'll be an important third down. Sets up a first and goal. Well, they got exactly what they wanted there. Out route, catch, get out of bounds, stop the clock. And I have to criticize defense here because you know the situation. You want to keep them in bounds and have the clock run. So I'm sitting on the outside portion of the field and not letting them throw an out route. Throw anything inside and I'll make the tackle. An out route? That, that's not the way you're supposed to play it. Now Elliott. And a short pick up there down to about the nine. And the Eagles are going to go ahead and take another timeout. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. And the ball situated at the nine. Second and goal. Back to throw. Yeah, he's got it. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Jeff Swaim in the final minute. And the Cowboys have taken the lead here in the fourth quarter. Wow, I know it's a never-say-never never situation, but to me, that looks like that's the one that's going to finish them off. The score that puts them in front here late, but now you got to rally your kick team, don't you, and say the last thing we need is a big return. And what happens is guys get overeager, get out of their lane because they're so excited they want to make the last tackle. <laughs> you mess up, could come back at you a long way. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This will be fielded at the eight. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. The Eagles offense now gets set to head back onto the field. They're down here in a one-score game. At the time, it's a factor, but it's not a huge factor right now, is it? It's really not because this amount of time gives them a chance to run their offense, to go through play sequences. And this is what they work on every week in practice, usually on a Friday. They go over this type of a situation, late game situation. What are we going to do when we have the opportunity? They've called these plays a bunch of times. Now's their chance to execute them. Yeah, they have the opportunity now. Here's the execution. Now the first play of the drive there is incomplete. 
I guess you can't be afraid to take those chances late in the game. He tried to fit that one in there. Nice job, though, defensively. But to your point, it was a nice job of knocking the ball away. But you're also right. You can't be afraid to take those chances. That means your guys going downfield to catch the ball, they've got to elevate their game and come down with these in order to keep your offense moving. They'll look to throw. And his throw here is incomplete. Alshon Jeffrey, the intended receiver. And now it's third down. So back-to-back -back incompletions, now third and ten. And first things first, before you think about marching the ball down the field, you got to move the chains. You're exactly right. Got to get back into focus here. Get the first down. That's what's vital to them. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. The pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Cheetah Bay Aluzie with a pick. And he's going to take this one back to the 37-yard line. And that one, oh, it's going to hurt big time. You're in the two-minute drill trying to get your guys down the field, and it's looking like they're going to go up just short, as this is definitely not his best throw. And it'll wind up being intercepted. The Eagles will take their third and final timeout as they stop it here with just under 40 seconds to go in the game. And they take a knee. Partner, they took a knee to finish this one off. To me, that's the only thing they lost in the fourth quarter. How about that comeback? Yeah, trailed coming into the last frame. Got it done, taking the knee. So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. A road win in the National Football League. Charles, you never take that for granted no matter who you're playing, no matter where you're playing. You take it and you run with it. <laughs> and you know you primed the pump all week in your own home facility. No one thinks we can do this. Only people who believe are right here in this room. And then you go on the road, band together, and get it done. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. From Philadelphia, good night, everybody.